Today we'll be building this awesome call to action and inserting it at the top of each page on our website. Greetings and welcome. I'm Athan from WebAssist.xyz where I build e-commerce websites. Today we'll be building this awesome call to action. We'll be hooking it into every single page on our website right at the top and it'll help direct people to the sale we're having this weekend. Now obviously in your case you might want to put any other text you want in there, any other notification you want to your website visitors. This tutorial will help you to do exactly that. Let's get started and see how to do this. If you looked at my previous video you'll know that we've built this awesome e-commerce website using Astra theme and the Astra agency package. We've built this site in a few minutes with a few clicks. We've literally pulled in a pre-designed, professionally designed website right into a fresh installer WordPress. We then customized the site, we customized the shop page, and that is our beautiful store. Now what I want to do, I want to have a site-wide call to action right across my site where I can pull in messages and display it to anyone who's on the website. For example, this weekend I'm going to have a 50% off site-wide sale and I want to let everyone know who visits the site that there is a massive sale on and I want to direct them to it. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll be creating a custom layout to stick in the top there where anyone and everyone who visits the site can't miss it. So it'll be bold, it'll be loud and it'll display my message. To do this we need to go into our dashboard. Once in the dashboard we go to appearance and we go to custom layouts. If you recall we are using the Astra theme with the Astra agency components. That's how we built our site. We literally pulled in a complete website in a few minutes and then we customized it. One of those things that we did or that was done for us that we just had to tweak a little was there was a site footer. Let me refresh your memory. That footer there that was inserted using a custom layout. Now we are going to create a new custom layout for our site wide call to action or our site wide message. To do this under custom layouts we click add new. Let's call this site wide CTA. Sidewide CTA for sidewide call to action. I'm going to publish this. Now, before we worry about the layout, I'll leave that for later. We need to enter the call to action that we want. Now, I could type some text in here. Uh, let's just say, for example, um, this weekend, 50% off all goods. I could um, save that. Now that doesn't show anywhere on our website. So we need to hook this in. We need to display it somewhere on our website. So let's go back to our custom layout. And this is where the custom layout settings comes in. What we'll do is on layout we'll select hooks. Now the action I'm going to select where I want it to display. In this example I'm going to stick it in HTML B4. I'll select that. I'll leave the priority at 10. I'll leave the spacing as is for now. We can always tweak it later. This would be top and bottom spacing. Now, where do I want to display it on? The display on rule, very powerful. I'm going to select entire website. I can add other display rules. I can add exclusion rules. Let's say, for example, I didn't want it on the shop page or contact page or any other page. I could add an exclusion rule here. For now, I'm going to leave it on the entire website. I can even select user roles. So in other words, I can show this to all users, logged in users only, logged out users only, administrators only, and so on and so forth. Customer, shop manager, lots of power there, lots of flexibility. Okay, once I'm happy, I'm going to click update. Now remember, that's just plain text we've got in here. Let's go and look at our website. I'll refresh. And there is our message. So simple to insert it. That doesn't look very good, does it? Now we can go and edit this and we can uh, you know, try and style it and make it look as good as possible. But that's not the optimal way to do it. So the beauty of Astra is it works with page builders, Elementor and Beaver Builder. In this case, I'm going to use Beaver Builder to edit it. So what I'm going to do is remove that for now. And then I'm going to create my message with Beaver Builder. It'll give me a lot more power. Now my rules are in place. I'm now going to click Page Builder to edit my template with my page builder. Okay, so what I'll do here is just drop in whatever I want. Now, we've got the standard Beaver Builder modules that come with the free version of Beaver Builder. 
we can use a text editor photo video audio um, we can even have a sidebar there it's a little limited on the free version of beaver beaver builder what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the already installed ultimate add-ons for beaver builder one of their modules so i'll click on uabb modules yeah we've got a lot more power as you can see there are many more options here this was installed already in our previous build with the website that we built it's part of the astra agency package for example i'm going to use a dual color heading so i'll scroll down to there we go creative modules dual color heading i'll drag that in and there's my dual color, color heading so let's go and edit it now for example i'm going to say that I'll, I'll stick with what we've previously done for example i'm having a 50 percent off site white sale this weekend so that's what i'm going to put in there now the dual color heading there's a first heading and there's a second heading so we can have them different colors so there's the first half and there's the second half of my heading if you need more info you can just hover on there and it'll give you a little more info that's context away okay space between headings now we don't need a space between our headings let's go and make it look a little, little bit prettier first of all let's decide on what color we want this now if we go back to our website I'm going to refresh remember we've taken that out so there should be nothing there now so yeah we've got a dark background on our home page and on our shop page we've got a light background I think I'm going to go with our orange there to make it stick out on both the dark and the light I'm going to have a big fat orange bar there across the top so let's start with the background so what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to click on the row this is fixed width currently I want to make it full width now it spans the entire length I'm going to make the padding zero all around and then let's go back to style and my background now I can stick a, a color in there photo video at a gradient and let's go the gradient I'm going to make it linear you can choose radial as well so my first color now remember in our previous tutorial we set a preset color so you can select your color here I'm going to go to my color preset I'm going to start with my orange now that'll be my first color so my orange there you can see it's changed my orange will be my first color I'm going to make it slightly darker so I've dragged it slightly darker in fact that's quite a bit darker but anyway and then for my second color let's go back to my color gradient and see I may I may have to go slightly lighter you can see there's a bit of a gradient there I think I'm going to go slightly lighter to make it stand out slightly more you can see the difference there uh, let's try a little bit more yeah that looks better it's subtle but it is um, you know it does make a difference okay now that black text doesn't go there so there's two ways to do this we can change the text color right here but because this is a dual color heading I'm rather going to change the text in the module itself so I'll click on that to bring up the module now first heading color let's make that a white second heading color I'm going to go with a dark gray oh, that looks kind of good alignment center now you can see there's no gap there so we are going to have to select space between headings and make that yes and now it's on 10 pixels well let's stick in a 10 and see what happens we're probably gonna have to go a bit bigger than 10 yeah 10 can work okay alignment center I can have left or right I'm happy with that okay now let's go and work on the topography next under topography I'm going to make this an h4 and the line or the font size rather I'm going to think let's start with 32 and see where we get to yeah I think I can leave it on 32 now what I want to do is there's quite a bit of padding here I'm going to make that I'm going to probably go with two pixels and two pixels respectively save it and see what that does okay that looks good now perhaps I should add a button here to take someone to the store let's say they were on the home page this might be an easy way to direct them straight to the store okay lots of ways to do that an easy way would just be to do a search here for button and there is a dual button a call to action or a button I'm going to go with a regular button now remember we could have used any one of a number of modules in here the call to action would have worked fine 
the dual button with the HTML module or a heading module and so on and so forth. I'm just going to drag this in here. Now, there's nowhere to put it, as you can see. So what I need to do, I want to put it on the right. So I'll just drag it over to the right there and pop it in straight there. Now, a new column has been created here. As you can see, I'm going to make sure that the spacing looks a little bit better. Oh, that's probably about right. Now, this is center aligned. This is also center aligned. Perhaps I should just stick this over a little bit onto the right. Or should we leave it like it is? Let's have a look. I think so. I think we're going to have to push this heading over to the right. So let's click on the heading. Alignment. Right. And now it pushes it over to the right. Now we may need to play a little bit more here. In fact, let's go and um, align our button to the left as well. So let's click on our button. Style. Alignment. Left. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go and edit our button. Shop now. The link will be to the shop. Now I can type in the shop there. I know what the URL is. URL is so I could go shop like that. Well, not like that, like that. Or alternatively, I could just say select and type in shop or any other destination I want to send them to. And there we go. There is my URL. Let's style our button. So we could have flat, gradient, transparent, or 3D. I'm going to leave it on flat. Hover styles none. Icon appear from right, left, top, and bottom. Let's do the icon up here from right. Um, we've selected image type. We can have icon or photo. I'm going to go with the icon. I'm going to select my icon. Let's go with a... In fact, I'll see what I want here. I've selected it. It is there, but I still can't see it. So let's go first of all with our background color. I'm going with a full white. Text color will be orange so I'll go with my preset and click that there we go I like the look of that background hover color let's make it a black well let's go that dark gray again ah, let's go with black text hover color will be white and there we go okay there's my button shop now now, to preview this, let's click on P on the keyboard for Beaver Builder. Or you can go here and say preview layout. Now it brings up a preview. Shop now. Okay, that works, but we need to uh, fix up this spacing. Let's click on our button. Let's do the same thing here and go with two at the top or bottom. And let's see what that does. We may have to alter it slightly. For now, I'm going to say done. I'm going to publish and see what it looks like. Let's look at it on our front end. I'll refresh my, refresh my page. Now remember there was no layout before or no call to action before on the home page or on the store page. Here's our store page. So let's check the home page first. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to put in a little bit of padding or margin at the top of the button just to fix that. Other than that, I like the look of that. And it'll take me straight. If you look at the bottom here, It'll take me straight to my shop page. Perfect. Let's go and fix that padding there. Padding on margin. Let's go back to our calls to action. Click on the page builder. Let's click on our button. I think I'm going to make the margin. Let's do it six there and see what happens. It looks like it's done it. So six and I'll say done. Publish. Let's refresh. Excellent. Exactly what I want. And it'll send us straight to our store. It's got our shop page and have a look. Awesome. I love it. You can't miss that. We're telling everyone we've got 50% off this weekend. Let's look lastly at our contact us page. And you'll see it should show on every single page on our website. And there it is. So no matter what page anyone comes in on our website, they absolutely cannot miss it. And that's how you add a site wide call to action on your website. If you found this content useful, please do subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out content on a weekly basis. Also hit that notification bell. Each time I do put out content, you'll be notified. And then of course, please give me a like if this video helped you in any way. I appreciate you staying to the end of the video. Take care. I will see you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.